And Biden's remarks come as college campuses in Metro Atlanta and around the country have seen more than a week of protests. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live for us at Emory University. And Rebecca, another protest planned for today? Yes, and Rick, we have noticed that these protests are starting up each afternoon here on Emory's campus. Now, within the last hour, there was a vigil here on the quad where students gathered in prayer to mark one week since those 28 arrests here on campus as protesters clashed with police. But otherwise, it's business for as usual for most of the student body. While some Emory students are preparing for graduation or finishing up exams, some others are spending their extra time protesting. Wednesday, pro-Palestinian protesters, including Emory students and faculty members, once again gathered on campus. We're trying to make sure that anything we do is towards divestment from Israel, and we're pressuring the university of them. We demand that they divest. We demand the At one point, they set up tents and blocked the entrance to the undergraduate admissions office. And we wanted to speak with the president and ask why we were being forced to leave a building that we pay for with our own tuition. Officers ordered them to unblock the entrance and move on. They linked arms, but did move. Governor Brian Kemp Wednesday defended their right to protest peacefully, but... We are not going to allow other students, people on campus, or citizens to be disrupted by people that are breaking the law. And when that happens, we will take swift action as we have done. If they spit in officers' faces like we have seen, they are going to have a bad day and they will be put in jail. So far this week, the demonstrations have not resulted in any arrests. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. And we will keep an eye on today's demonstration, and we'll have updates for you this afternoon and evening. Live at Emory University, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.